Avapar. Information on Planet Void. George said, I want to do something different with the second episode. And everyone went, oh no. <laughs> what does that mean? It's just hot and oppressive. And he said, I want it to be an episode about nothing. The Void. How do you write 22 minutes about nothing? <laughs> The great thing is the production team can just look at that and they can make it all come to life. No, 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 no! Whatever that means, they're gonna make it look good. I, I'm just, I'm internally grateful to the production team. Forward seems to be the only way out of this void. <sighs> when you die, I should lead D-Squad. You are what's killing me! Making the magic. Why is this happening to me? And there's some kind of comedic dialogue throughout it. Maybe he is going to jump and put himself out of his misery. How do we have an arc that feels like it's part of this season? There has to be something out there! And not completely out of place. You do know that you're eating garbage, right? And I think the way we approached that was, well, let's have it be fun. Let's have it be droids. He should have jumped. But let's have it be something where there are real stakes. <laughs> um, it's meaningful. Life is a void. We search and search for answers, but there are none. Hope is just an illusion. Death is the only certainty. It's part of the war effort. You are a clone, and I order you to take me to your ship. Uh, look, friend, I, I, I was just trying to help. I, I'm sorry if you took it the wrong way. And so that's how it ended up becoming part of season five. Excuse me, I, I gotta go. I, I don't want to lose my job. Been taking its kind of rightful place amongst these much bigger, more mature, and darker um, arcs. But this void.